congratulations. It was a pretty comprehensive win in the end. Yeah, it was. Um, it's always great to play you know, great opposition, and they're, <coughs> excuse me, a very um, capable opposition. Obviously, last year's premiers. So, um, yeah, for us, it was a, about starting really well, which we got a, a, an okay start. And the second quarter, um, you know, they came at us really hard, as I expected them would. They're, they're, they're a great side, so um, very happy with the win. It's very tight, very big. Physical struggle in the first quarter. What, what did you do to break that going like in the second? Yeah, we talked about. Um, the, the style of play that the Bulldogs like to play with getting numbers to the ball um, and uh, similar to last week and we're very comfortable with teams doing that to us because um, we think that we can own the outside and uh, our game's based around trying to move the ball and scoring we've said that right from the start of November and uh, yeah, and I thought um, once that happened the players knew exactly what to do we trained it during the week um, and I thought they executed it probably for three of the four quarters pretty well Absolutely. It's a testament to the girl sitting next to me here. She's um, you know, one of the girls that um, has come in from her VFL program at the Southern Saints and um, really developed her football and, as you saw tonight, impacted very well. Of Courtney, yeah. She's, uh, she's one of those players that we've been developing, I suppose, at training and um, in season. You can really only do match sim, so it's difficult to, to get a gauge on you know exactly where they're at, but Courtney's probably one of the ones that stands up, and you, you see a trainer. It's the way she attacks the contest. She's either going to mark it or bring it to the ground, and um, I'm very proud of her that um, she stuck to the to the structure that we wanted her to play, and uh, impacted very well. Thanks, Scotty. No worries. Can you talk us through that, that first goal? Um, yeah, it was pretty special when I caught the ball. I was just kind of hoping I wouldn't turn around and miss it, but yeah. It, it went through, so I was pretty stoked with that. What you make of your day, it's almost a dream start. Yeah, it was a pretty special night. The girls were amazing. They got around me when I was a bit nervous before the game, so I owe so much to their support. Yeah. What about the dribble goal at the end? What did you think of that? Was, that? was that skill or luck or a little bit of both? Oh, a little bit of both, I think. <laughs> Probably more on the luck side, to be honest. <laughs> Super goal. <laughs> Thank you very much. Right. Can you get just spot now on the... Oh, look, I'm just going to keep on trying to play my role. And yeah, hopefully. So he's well trained. <laughs> um, oh, look, I think I just needed a lot of girls around me to support me. And yeah, it was, it was a pretty exciting moment getting to run through the flag at the very beginning, yeah. Yes, she did. Yeah, absolutely. And I thought um, her role was pivotal on the wing and um, a bit different to her. We, we haven't been um, changing our wings the way we did tonight, but we did it deliberately because of the Bulldog structure and used <coughs> excuse me, um, Emma's football nous to, to play that particular role for us. And she did it really well. So, um, yeah, and I'm proud of her efforts tonight. Too early to say, probably favourites. Um, well, I'm not a betting man, but uh, <coughs> no, no it, I, look, I think we can only control what we can. And um, I, I feel as though our goal in such a short season, you've just got to focus week to week. And it, <laughs> yeah, it sounds cliche, but yeah, for me, we even spoke about it with our practice match. We talked about concentrating quarter by quarter in the practice match. There were certain bits of things that we knew we were going to try during the year. Um, tried to take the scoreboard out of it a little bit and it was no different to round one, two or three where we really just break the game up and um, talk more about our processes and I think the girls um, statistically from our internal stats that we keep, the game was probably around about a six out of ten for us statistically, um, which sounds crazy when you beat the reigning premier but um, it, for us we've got a long way to go with improvement so I, I would say that to be premiership favourites we just need to keep making sure the next four weeks are really strong for us and what will be will be, and if that means we finish on top and then gives us a chance at premiership, that's fantastic. But you know, we're not in here to we're not in it to come second. We want to have a really good good throw at the stumps, and um, you know, if we get that opportunity, we'll, we'll be very lucky and very blessed, and we'll, we'll give it a red hot crack. It's fantastic. It's I often uh, reflect. You don't get a lot of time to reflect, but I often reflect on the the. The program that we set over 12 months to get it right, and how um, you know, how much work the club does in that in that space to make sure that the culture's right and the processes that we've got off field to support the girls, and 
Um, I keep saying it, but you know, it, it basically worked out from the day one of training till the first round. We saw each other every two weeks. Either the girls were up or we were down here. Um, did the camp down here, which was really beneficial. But it's it's they when they come up and train at Arden Street, you actually can't tell the difference from a, a fitness point of view, a skill point of view. They just blend in, and um, and I, I think it's worked to a tell. I don't see how you could. You know, there's always little bits you can improve, but I don't see how um, how much significant improvement you'd actually get from that. Um, I, I just feel as though really the Tasmanian thing's a, a bit of a, um, a blessing for us. It's given us the opportunity to travel the last three weeks and play the two games here that we have and what that means is come finals time if we end up, you know, round seven we're against Fremantle in Fremantle. If we have to travel to Brisbane or go back to GWS and play there, it, it just holds no fears for us because we're used to it and um, in a way not having a home ground as such um, I think will actually in turn work as a bit of a blessing for us. One, two, three games here in Tassie, as you've said. Um, would you like to see or is it going for a kangaroos final in Tasmania? Yeah, I, I haven't actually heard what they're going to do with that yet. Um, I'm sure the AFL will, uh, will, will chat about all that, but um, I'd be very comfortable playing a, a final or a grand final anywhere. Um, Again, it just falls down to preparing the best you can and, and preparing the players. And um, yeah, it's old Ross line, really, anywhere, anytime. It's it's sort of um, cliche, but I think it, it's really true. Thank God.